Aha. Did you know that in one eight-hour shift, approximately five hours is spent waiting for Windows to let you use the computer again? That's what it feels like anyway. Hi. Uh oh, are we shaking? Uh, cheers. Hmm. I meant to have this earlier. This week has just not been good for ingestion, by the way. Uh, what day is it? Oh, it's Wednesday. It's like the longest week in the world. Finally, we are almost over the hump, however. 6.05 p.m. and the current temperature is 77 degrees. When I got up today, and actually this is going back to about 1.30 a.m., 2 a.m., it was raining. It rained, it stopped, it rained, it rained some more. It rained, it continued to rain. By the time I left the house to go to work, it was still raining. Check the rain gauge. There were two inches of water in it. That rain gauge, not terribly accurate. I wouldn't be surprised if we'd had even more. Just crazy. This means I should go down to the basement and see if there's a lot of water on the floor or not. Just thought about that. Well, also means that the lawn is finally getting watered. So we'll see if that patch that the ants tore up is gone for good or coming back. I got some seed to plant in case that happens, but I think the ants are gone. We used boiling water. Although, I suspect the ants have moved to a different part of the lawn, and I just haven't figured it out yet. It always seems like the t by the time I notice where the ants are, it's too late, and the grass is dying, and stupid ants. Ooh. I had some stuff that was, like, it's bad for ants, but it's okay for everything else. It's, like, made out of some animal's skeleton or something. Do you know what I'm talking about? That worked okay a couple times, and I think now I have the ants that are resistant to it or whatever. Stupid adapting ants. But that's not why I'm here. Oh, man. I, I Really, I literally spent like an hour yesterday just trying to get the computer to work. It would get to the point. I love you, Windows XP. It would just hang trying to do three things at once. So I would try to kill one of the things, and I would wait for it to finally go ahead and kill that one of the things. And finally, it was to the point where it was like, all right, I'm going to reboot. It had actually been two weeks since I rebooted, so that was probably something I should have done. And so then you have to wait for 20 minutes for it to go through its rigmarole and shut down. And as tempting as it is to just hit the off button and start over, I know that that can cause a lot more problems than it solves. So by the time I got it finished and was back up and this camera was taping again, that was late. I had to, it was 6.15 and I had to get out of there. I was uh, informed that I had to be home so we could go to UPS to pick up a package and I, I better be there by 7, buddy. I was like, at the time I should have said, why, what does UPS close? But I didn't. Thinking maybe 7.30. No, UPS closes at 8, so we had oodles of time. But it's okay because Kim had to wait in line a really long time. If you want to do some people watching, go to the UPS hub and see who walks in and who walks out and the shape and size of the boxes that they walk out with or envelopes. Just getting there is an experience. People in front of me, I could tell, didn't know where they were going. I knew they wanted to go the same place I did, but they didn't know where to turn or where to park. And finally, they ended up passing the driveway again, and I was like, finally, so I could pull in and get my spot. Five minutes later, they finally came in. Didn't like the first parking spot so they had to back out and pick a different parking spot I don't know man okay I hope they weren't mailing you weed or something did they do that through UPS I reckon all it takes is uh, enough of those perfume strips in the magazines to mask the scent I, not that I would know because I really have never smoked weed I think I read that in, probably in a fiction book somewhere so it's probably not even true but Mm. And here's the deal. I've pretty much been living on soy energy blend. But look, it doesn't look like I've had any of it. 
I haven't eaten this stuff. When did I buy this? A week ago? Over the weekend? Not last weekend, but the previous weekend? It still looks full. I mean, it's crazy. It is good. It does keep me from passing out. But you can only have so much at a time. And apparently, yeah, it lasts forever. We'll see how that goes. What has not lasted forever is my Costco meat. As seen on Instagram, steak strips. Let me read this to you. Premium cut cured and dried beef steak strips, smoke flavoring added. These extra thick cut Kirkland signature steak strips feature a very tender bite and an appealing complex flavor. The thick cut of top round steaks, special, sneezing, special seasonings and just the right amount of moisture are what make Kirkland signature steak strips so enjoyable. They deliver the flavor and texture of a seasoned steak, ready to eat in a convenient resealable package. Moisture means you got to keep them in the fridge. Also means it comes with its very own descant do not eat. Oxygen absorber. Interesting. Also it's got little meat turds all over it, which are now on my fingers. I opened this on Friday, so Wednesday is my fourth day. Almost gone. Look how thick these are, though. It is kind of crazy. The other thing is it's guaranteed to get stuck back there in your teeth, and you'll need to floss. Do you want to try to eat this for you? Wow. That's a lot of work, man, for not jerky, but it's jerky. Mmm. There's that protein. Talking about how to get more attention and least uh, offered on the W. You could start a fake feud with someone on the internet and see if that gets attention. You could do it about yogurt or apple fritters or something. I've been out of yogurt since Monday. I don't see myself getting to the store either. It's funny because if I was going to, and this happened last night, I was on Google Plus and made the mis had the misfortune of looking through Google Plus and now they kind of foist what's hot upon you and what was hot was Wesley Crusher reminding us how much he hated George W. Bush which is fantastic because George W. Bush hasn't been president for over three years but we're still going to talk about him and let everybody know how much we hate him and Wesley Crusher has thousands of idiot fans who will kiss his ass suck up to him give a plus one to anything he does just because he's Wesley Crusher and God forbid you try to say hey you know I think you may be trolling because first of all he probably doesn't read the comments but second of all there's a bunch of suck up kiss asses who will leap to his defense I'm sure I used to have fans like that too but terrible and the thing is you can't you know Google Plus throws what's hot out there and you don't get a choice of hey maybe this is something I don't actually ever want you to show me but I ended up blocking him I already have something in my teeth I had one little piece of jerky can you believe that got it uh, you can't see it do just as well but it'd be pretty easy to pick a fight with Will Wheaton plus his hockey team sucks even if they have the Stanley Cup we wanted me to tweet something about uh, Kamala shoot interview DVD, which really we should just put on Kickstarter, right? Or is it on Kickstarter? I don't know. It's it's ironic. It's not ironic, but there's something to Flea asking me to tweet something when Flea is on Twitter and could tweet it himself, but doesn't. Flea, why don't you tweet it, and then I'll retweet you. I dare you. Get on Twitter, man. Ride that wave. Uh, that's it for the W. I think that's it for everywhere. Hi to Kevin on Google+. Plus. Kevin is uh, my one... Nah. I like that he plus ones everything I do. It reminds me that he's out there and that Google Plus exists. He also says he's on the W, which means I 
probably knew six months ago that he was and who he was, but I've forgotten since then. So we'll see if he speaks up or not. Hey, my 10 minutes is up. I didn't even talk about any of the other stuff I was going to talk about. But to uh, wrap up the cliffhanger from yesterday, it was a, a handbag for my lovely wife who couldn't answer the door when UPS delivered it but had me drive out to the UPS hub so that she could pick it up. To her credit, it's a very beautiful handbag and it was very many percent off, but not for me. She also took me to dinner uh, as a token of gratitude and we had some fantastic Chinese food at the Peking Garden and some salt and pepper shrimp that I had never had before but was so good and would have again. Uh, thinking of food. So there'll be some food tonight because it's trivia night. We're going to try to win. We've been in kind of a slump and haven't won lately, so I'm thinking tonight's the night. So if you find yourself at the Triple Rock Social Club, you will not. Uh, Still Pacific will not be there either. That's who this button is. Okay, now I'm way over. So let's, uh, let's uh, pick this up tomorrow when I'm sure I will talk about wrestling like I meant to. How about that Rikishi? Okay, tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.